Hi guys, it's John in Brooklyn back at Casey Farms. We're continuing our chicken series. We are on our third group of chickens. First we did the, what did we do first? Bielefelders. Bielefelders, then we did the... Polishes. And now we are going to do the Welsomer, okay? Um, and speckled Sussex. Oh yes, there are some speckled Sussex in here and we'll talk about those as well. Those got sent to us on accident, I guess. They were with our Welsomers, but we really like them, so we're kind of glad we got them. So, uh... Welsomers, they got a kind of a partridge pattern to them. Um, we really enjoy them. You can see some missing feathers back there. That happens when your rooster is too rough or mates some of the hens too often. Um, but these are the Welsomers, guys. We used to have big red, and uh, this is the group that was getting attacked by the hawks. But big red didn't get attacked by a hawk. Something happened with him. He got sick, started limping, and a day or two he was gone. He, like, so, move. yeah. So he he is no longer with us, which really stinks because we won't have any more Welsomer eggs. But we have an incubator full. When he started getting sick, we went and grabbed all the Welsomer eggs that we had, and we threw them in the incubator in hopes to get another Welsomer rooster and some more Welsomer chickens because we lost some to hawks. But uh. If you're wondering why I'm in here, it's because Big Red's not here. <laughs> yeah, Brooklyn's in here because she's not scared because there's no rooster, and I don't blame her. He used to attack everybody else, not me. I don't know why, but that's just how it was. So here's the wonderful Welsomer, guys. We went with the Welsomer um, basically because they're eggs, and we'll show you their eggs here in a minute, but they are a cool breed. Um, between these and our Easter Eggers, these guys definitely eat more feed than the Easter Eggers. They're probably a medium-sized chicken. If you didn't see the Bielefelder video, we compared these guys to the Bielefelders. Bielefelders were already just as big, if not bigger than them. So they're not a huge chicken. They don't lay a ton of eggs. Um, we have 11 chickens in here. We got eight today. They've been giving us about five. And I think part of that is because they were stressed out from the hawk attacks, so we weren't getting a ton of eggs. Um, but they don't lay as many as the Easter egg or chickens, um, so don't expect a ton. Uh, the only reason we went with them is because the type of eggs. Um, we also have a Easter egger in here. It's that one right we there. Call her purple hoser. Purple hoser. And the only way you can tell, the, as baby chicks, they look very close to each other. But you can see she's got purple legs, whereas the Welsmer have a yellow shank or yellow leg on their on their bodies. There's there the Welsmer. One of the yeah. The other ones over there. Yep. This that one right here tree bark. is a speckled Sussex, and these were put in our order as well, which we didn't order them, but they're actually really cool, super nice. They're probably nicer, more docile, more friendly than the uh, Welsomers, um, but they have a very cool pattern to them as well. But guys, if you're looking for your eggs to stand out from other breeds and you want a brown egg, Welsomers are an awesome choice. Um, they lay a dark, well, some between light and dark. There's our other speckled Sussex right there. She is Miss Small, and the other one over there is Tree Bark. Yeah, there's Miss Small. She's super friendly. Let's see if you can pick her up. She's not as friendly since we put her in here, but she's still pretty friendly. She used to break out all the time and run up to the golf cart and jump and on the we golf could cart. Hand feed her. Yeah. Let's see if you can get her. <laughs> If not, that's okay. All right, so there's the wonderful Welsomer. The roosters are beautiful. Um, they were supposedly, that's where the cornflakes rooster cartoon, if you ever seen that on the cereal box, is a Welsomer chicken. But these are the Welsomers. Um, like I said, I don't think they forage as good as Easter eggers. Um, so they definitely go through some more food and they don't lay as many eggs as the Easter eggers that we have but they are a fun chicken to have on the farm. Oh, sis got her. There's tree bark. No, this is Miss Small. That oh, one over there yeah. is tree Miss bark. Small, look at that patterning. Isn't that awesome? So very pretty chicken. They lay a little bit smaller, lighter colored egg. And that's <laughs> Miss Small. So yeah, she's super nice. She kind of gets up into your business. Like I said, she would jump up on the cart, eat out of the food barrels, eat out of our hands, but very pretty chicken. So those are actually called speckled Sussex. We have two of those and the rest are Welsomers except old purple hoser over there who is the Easter egg. And we'll talk about Easter eggers tomorrow. 
But let's jump out here and check out their eggs here really quick. I'm gonna put her down. <laughs> She's always been a favorite, so. But yeah, we love the Welsomers. The eggs are awesome. They're great for your egg basket to make you uh, stand apart from other eggs. Um, probably nothing any different health-wise, but they're just prettier. Um, it seems like, here's the eggs here. The top two are the speckled Sussex. They're like almost a cream brown. And then there are the Welsomer eggs. Now we were getting a lot darker ones, um, but obviously those are the hens that got taken from us. But they come in all shades. A speck on that one. Yeah, from light. We've mostly got light speckled ones left. Um, but they're a very pretty egg. But they do lay a darker egg sometimes. Yeah, some strands of the Welsomer have darker eggs. We did have darker eggs. And we do still get a few darker eggs every now and then. So very pretty eggs. And that was the main reason we got Welsomers. But they're a cool chicken. Um, and we are glad to have them on our farm. Our winner has not gotten back to us from the 500 t-shirt subscriber. We're gonna give them a couple more days. If we don't hear from them, I'm not gonna tell you who you are. You gotta go check the uh, last video with the Polish chickens. We announced the winner in that video. If we don't hear from you, we're gonna do another drawing for the t-shirt so we can give that away. We're looking forward to sending that out. If you haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe, and check us out on Instagram. All right, see you on the next video, guys.